Well, hello, my name is Sam Rogers, and this is actually going to be my first video tutorial. So hopefully it'll go over better than I expect it to. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, and for some reason beyond me, I said that I would uh, put up some sort of tutorial or something on how I made my latest WordPress theme. So that that's what I'm going to do. And this might not be maybe the easiest way to do it, but this is the way I figured it out. I kind of just kind of figured it out as I was going. And uh, one thing that might be good is that uh, I didn't use a single bit of coding. I didn't code a single line. I didn't work with any of that. All I used was like Google Images and Photoshop pretty much. So for those of you out there wondering, those of you in my class, I guess, who uh, commented about it or emailed me, whatever, um, hopefully this will give you some information. So might as well start off by showing you the blog. And if you can't tell already, this is a lost theme, and I cannot wait for February 2nd. Season 6 next Tuesday is going to be epic. So as you can see, there are all these lost pictures. I pretty much, I made every picture on here f from Photoshop. Um, you can see there are lost pictures all over the place. And uh, so how did I get these here, yeah, I guess, is the question. So as I said, I didn't actually... Uh, build this entire theme. This is actually um, a theme called, based on a theme called Black Urban by Anton Shevchuk. And this is what it originally looked like. So it had these these cool things. It had all different pictures and everything. And I pretty much just went through, as you can see, and changed it all massively. Um, so how I did that is um, I used, and you're going to have to, I guess you could go to cPanel or use some other file transfer tool. I use Fire FTP for Firefox. And well, so whatever you're using, it should, I guess, work similar. Um, this guy over here, he already did a great tutorial on installing Fire FTP on your computer. So I will put the link to this article in the video description or whatever. It's free and it's great. So anyways, I'm just going to open Fire FTP because to change all of th all of the images, you have to load them on the computer so you can edit them obviously. So, connect. So what I did was go to public HTML, blog, content, and themes. And over here are all my themes, the same ones all listed on this page except this one has pictures of them these are all the folders of them and the one we're interested in is this one called black urban so you're gonna click on this make sure you have the right um, directory that you want to send it to over here there we go and I'm going to send it over to my computer yes over at all so after a few seconds it will send it over as you can see it's over here in my directory so if I open it up here it is and there are all these files here when you open the folder uh, these would be, I guess, if I wanted to go into the scripting and stuff, which I do know a little bit of scripting, but I'm, just, if you're lazy like me, I just didn't want to, and I thought the script itself looked fine to begin with. So the one we're going to be interested in is this images folder, which has all the images. They're the same images that are on the default website. So if you can see, like, here's the header. If you want to uh, see where the header is over here, it's strangely called header. So uh, you have all these images, and so let's just say I wanted to change them. It's incredibly simple. All you do is open it and open these pictures in pretty much any um, editing software. I'm going to use Photoshop for this example, but I mean you could literally open it in Microsoft Paint if you want. So let's say for some reason beyond me, I wanted to do this. That looks very appealing. Now I'm going to make it even better. Yeah. Who would not want to go to this website? You'd have to be a complete idiot. So anyways, that looks incredibly beautiful. So I'm going to save that. So you're going to save it in the same place as a JPEG and you're just going to overwrite the file that was already there, yes, good quality, whatever. 
if you notice over here see it's just changed so now I could go through change all these as much as I wanted as long as they're saved and with uh, the same dimensions preferably because um, if I like open this and did weird stuff to it and put it in different dimensions it might mess it up on the web page so you want to keep these all the same dimensions that's why I like open if I didn't change anything I just drew on it as it was you could add pictures do whatever so anyways to get it back onto the website now there's the tricky part you pretty much you literally actually just do the exact opposite so I'm gonna go over here go back into the fire FTP so here is my black urban folder with the edited picture inside of it so I'm just going to send it over to the same location that I took it from yes it's gonna override all and so once again after a second it gets sent over and there it is with my it's gonna have my new images so um, let me reload my page and you can see there we go um, it looks so good actually like I'm honestly rather impressed and then it just has all these scribbles on it because you change the picture that it's going to draw from it's pretty simple I guess I went through all that just for the uninitiated in the process I guess so I'm gonna I'm actually that looks completely terrible I'm going to change it back to my lost theme but so there's a basic overview of how you go through and edit all the pictures on your blog and but there, there are um, some themes such as this theme right here a nanus glass something that you can actually go through and down here there will be like a link to edit your header you can edit some things but like you you really can't at least when the uh, themes I found change everything like I did so that's why I went through and changed all the pictures manually and it was pretty it's pretty easy once you know, once you know what you're doing if there's a better way out there well I don't want you commenting that I'm an idiot or something because I figured it out on my own so anyways I'm sure that some of you actually want to see how I made all this stuff and without going too much into the details or like doing a complete um, tutorial in Photoshop which I'm not going to do um, I can explain kind of how I did it. So pretty much what I did was I literally went all over the internet and found tons and tons and tons of pictures about Lost. Like everything you could imagine. So then, as I told you earlier, I, I opened up these original files, then I edited them with these pictures. So for instance, um, here, the header. Here it is, the header, and I have all this stuff set up over here. Once again, you can do this with any picture editing application. So here we have all the different things that I have set up here, the buttons that I edited on. And I found these from all over the internet, really. Like here's a Dharma symbol that I found from, I think, Lostpedia. And then this is actually a picture of Kate's toy plane, if you remember that. This background image, uh, let me see. This background image of all the losties standing there is actually it's the poster from season one. So this was the original file, and pretty much what I did was I went through and I masked all the characters out. And if you know how to use like Photoshop, then that will make sense to you. If not, go to PSD Tuts. It's a great website. I'll put that link in the description too. That's where I learned to do Photoshop. It's just great. Mask them all out. You can use the pen tool or whatever. So I, then I pretty much made a selection and once you make a selection you can paint all over it, and it will only paint in that selection so what this sandy looking stuff is actually a brush that I downloaded from PSD Tuts and then I just kinda painted over it, and I had a so anyways that's what I did extremely simple um, sorry if I didn't explain in detail how I painted each one of them maybe I will make a tutorial one day of doing that but it's just it's just incredibly easy really looking things today so that's it that's how I did it if you guys have any questions or anything feel free to comment send me an email go comment on my blog it's chasinglily.net